What's going on everybody? This is Al from PC Tech Review 101 coming back to you with another video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me reach 1000 subscribers. Today's video is going to be focusing on how to create Microsoft Media Creation Tool for beginners using a USB flash drive or a DVD. For all you guys who don't know about this, it's for free. It's completely for free and you get it right from the Microsoft website so the first thing you do is you type in Microsoft media creation tool in your Google search or whatever search engine you use and you will come up with this result here it's usually at the very top make sure you get this one here otherwise it won't work so you click on that and then it'll bring you to the screen here we hit download tool now it should be very quick almost instant it's only 18 megs then you go ahead open it you hit yes or okay and now we're gonna be just waiting this process does take a while altogether so be patient but it's well worth it so let me go over a couple of things guys how important this tool it's a must-have for any Windows 10 user either for a laptop or a desktop especially for all you gamers out there and I'm gonna refer this video later on when I do my uh, fully optimization video of how to get the most out of your current hardware on your PC or laptop to get that maximum FPS just like the pros do You hit accept. Okay, now you get to this window here and uh, you choose the second option create installation media hit next here you don't do anything but hit next and here are your two options so let's go over each option in full understanding of how it works so let's say you're gonna use the USB flash drive make sure it is at least 8 gigabytes and it's been formatted to fat 32 and it's inserted in your you know PC or laptop and very important very important guys make sure prior to doing this you name your USB stick that you're gonna use Windows 10 okay very important after doing so everything is ready hit next In my case I don't have it plugged in or anything I don't have no DVD or a USB flash drive I'm just showing you how to get this done so in your case you should have a drop menu underneath here saying uh, whatever drive is e drive windows 10 you highlight that and then this next option will appear for you and you hit next at this point you just sit back and wait depends on your computer internet or overall speed too it'll take a while either way but it's well worth it so you just sit back and wait so that's usb flash drive let's go back and let's go over the iso file which will be used to burn onto a dvd Click that, hit next, and again, my recommendation is to have this file saved on the desktop. You have the desktop highlighted, and you name this uh, Windows 10. And that's pretty much it. See, when it comes to burning it on DVD, it's a two step process. First, it'll create the tool, and the icon will appear on the desktop. 
once that's done it'll give you an option to have the DVD inserted and then you hit burn and that'll take a while this is I guess will be a longer process than a USB flash drive because it's a two-step process but to to know how it's done correctly you'll know once the DVD is fully burned and ready the the DVD player will open up with the DVD all ready to go and that's how you know you did everything correct and the file that you downloaded it was wasn't corrupted or anything like that so yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, I'm not gonna stay here and wait for you and show you the full procedure because it could take up to half an hour to 45 minutes uh, the rest you'll figure out on your own so thank you for watching I hope this was help, uh, helpful to you guys and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel goodbye